Okay, uh, so Amit, uh, for which exam you are preparing, and today you want to give the snap for which subject? Yes, sir. Sir, I want to give a snap for uh, power electronics. Sir. And you are preparing for which exam? Sir, I am preparing for PSU interview. Which PSU? Uh, sir, uh, right now, sir, I have filled for two forms, uh, GL and EIL, and there are uh, much more PSUs will be coming in coming months. So I want to prepare for uh, technical subjects. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm. Give me any idea about thyristor. How thyristor work? Thyristor uh, is a uh, three junction and three terminal device. Uh, uh, we we provide a firing uh, firing. There is a uh, an anode cathode and a gate terminal. We provide mm. a, a current signal uh, to the uh, gate terminal, and after after firing a uh, gate, uh, it, it start conducting, uh, uh, and it is semi controlled device used in power electronics. Mm hmm. How many type of thyristors are there? Uh, how many type of thyristors? Mm hmm. Uh, sir, uh, there are many types of uh, thyristors, but I have studied only uh, SCR silicon control rectifier. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, but I have read that there are and there is a very okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. In in the SCR, we have to give the continuous gate pulse. Yes, sir. Why? Uh, sir, uh, they. It is not necessary that we have to get, uh, give a continuous gate pulse because uh, there will be much more loss. We can uh, get, uh, uh, give the pulse firing or the high frequency firing so that the losses will be lessened. And uh, if uh, if it uh, does not uh, give a continuous uh, pulse uh, or continuous current to the gate, then the uh, and if the current is below the holding current, current becomes below the holding current, then Thaisha will stop working. Okay. Mm -hmm. So and it will not allow to pass yeah. the current uh, at, at his mm. switch. Okay, what is the difference between SCR and BJT? Uh, SCR is a, a semi-controlled device and a BJT is a fully controlled device. If we uh, mm. in BJT, uh, if we mm. apply current to the base terminal and mm. if we uh, then it, start, it, it will start conducting. And uh, mm. uh, it will be NPR or PNP. But as soon as we remove the current signal from the base terminal, then it just mm. stop conducting. But in SCR, what happens actually is uh, when we apply gate uh, signal to the uh, gate terminal, then it, uh, and it is above the uh, uh, latching current, then we start conducting. But uh, even after removal of the gate uh, signal, it will continue to conduct uh, uh, unless and until uh, the anode to cathode current become, becomes less than the holding current. And this, and this week we can say that the CR is semi-controlled device, not a fully controlled. We can control only the on operations, but not the off operations. And in BJT, we can control both the on and off operations. Okay, give me some idea regarding why we do the in the inverter we are doing 120 degree conduction or 180 degree conduction okay uh, so what is uh, what is it uh, what is the need of it and why we are doing this uh, sir uh, there are two uh, uh, applications uh, uh, whether we want to uh, more power out of inverter or where we, we want to uh, protection of supply a power circuit. Mm -hmm. If we want to mm -hmm. uh, protection of supply circuit, then we will uh, go, uh, go with the 120 degree conduction mode because in there mm -hmm. will be uh, the guard band of 60 degree provided in the 120 degree mode of conduction. And uh, if mm -hmm. we want uh, uh, more power uh, taken of uh, uh, more power handling capacity of the inverter, then we will go mm -hmm. with the 180 degree mode of conduction. It depends on totally on the utility, how we want to utilize the inverter. If we want the um, more protection, then we will go with the 120 mode of protection. And if we want more power, we will go with the 120 mode of protection. Okay. What is SMPS? SMPS, switch mode power supply. Uh, it is used in a UPS uh, uh, 
I have not um, uh, much uh, idea about this, but I have uh, read uh, about uh, full form switch mode power supply, and it is using MOSFET because uh, high frequency supply, uh, high frequency switching is required in SMPS. Mm -hmm. And I I could not have much about. It. Okay. Uh, like in the case of 120 degree conduction or uh, the one phase, it is 120 degree balance. Or I'm talking about three phase inverter working principle. Okay. Uh, okay. While considering the three phase inverter, how many how many type of controlled one thyristor and uncontrolled one thyristor you require to construct a three phase in, uh, inverter? I am talking about a voltage source inverter or current source inverter. Current source inverter. Uh, how many types of uh, uh, controlled and uncontrolled inverters? Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, sir, there will be six controlled uh, devices, six controlled uh, switching switching devices, and there will be six uh, uh, and. Uh, uh, uncontrolled, uh, perhaps there will be a denoted part because uh, the reversal of the current could not take place in the current source. So I think there will be six uh, controlled switching devices will be required. Okay. When we are doing 120 degree conduction, then why we have gone for 120 degree conduction? Earlier we have 180 degree and we have switched our 180 degree. Sorry, earlier we have 180 degree and and we have switched our 120 degree conduction. So what is the drawback? And what what is the thing we have not achieved in while doing conduction of 180 degree? Uh, the very first reason is uh, 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 perhaps the um, protection of this uh, power supply. And the drawback of the 120 degree, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 120 degree mode of conduction is that lesser power be, uh, be in the inverter will be able to ha handle. And uh, but uh, in 180 degree conduction mode, uh, more power can be entered. And uh, uh, I uh, I have not read about this why we have switched about uh, one uh, from 180 degree conduction mode to 120 degree. I am listening for the first time, but I uh, know the uh, very reasons why one where 120 degree mode of conduction preferred and where 180 degree mode of conduction preferred. What is the difference between 180 degree and 120 degree? So in 180 degree uh, mode of conduction, uh, three uh, switches conduct at a time, and uh, in 180 degree mode of conduction, uh, two switches conduct at a time. Uh, the waveform is uh, slightly different. Uh, the phase voltage waveform that you obtain from 180 degree and 120 degree mode is slightly different, and uh, uh, the harmonic component, the magnitude of harmonic component is also different. And uh, uh, the, the the guard band uh, thing already have to. And uh, that's also okay. Uh, yeah, how many switches we require for a three phase inverter? Uh, how many switches uh, for voltage source inverter? Actually, uh, we use a reverse conduction thyristor, which is a combination of thyristor and anti parallel diode, and uh, we will use uh, six uh, RCTs reverse conduction thyristor for the uh, manufacturing of uh, a voltage source inverter. And if you want to make a current source inverter, then we can use a uh, silicon controlled rectifier SCR. And there mm -hmm. will be six SCR required for the manufacturing of control uh, current source inverter. Okay. Give any two main type of inverter. Examples. Uh, so, uh, uh, sir, uh, in the inductors can, inverters can be broadly qualified and uh, classified in two types, mainly the line commutator inverter and the force commutator inverter. The line commutator mm -hmm. inverter is nothing but an uh, inversion mode of rectifier. Uh, in rectifier, there is a provision that uh, we can make a firing angle more than 90 and then the inverter mm -hmm. will go into the inversion mode. Uh, and this uh, mode of rectifier is called uh, line commutator inverter. Means the, uh, the commutation is occurring by the line itself uh, because of uh, behavior of the power supply. And in force mm -hmm. committed, uh, force committed inverter, we use a commutation circuitry. There are basically three types of uh, force committed inverter. First one is the voltage source inverter, current source inverter, and third one is the 
uh, first is modulation techniques and uh, it, uh, the name itself uh, signifies that we are forcing the circuit to communicate and hence there is a, a requirement of external circuitry so that the uh, turning of the thyristors could take place and in all these uh, uh, they commutation circuitry but in uh, a line commuted inverter there is no need of uh, commutation circuitry external commutation circuitry okay like that i am going to do the work okay i am giving the feedback like the type of the inverter what i am saying mainly when when i say the type of you have you have tell about the filtering technique like current source inverter or voltage source inverter we are using as a as a, uh, as a major type like uh, for the filtering technique okay but uh, when i say the type of the technique like <clears throat> uh, the output we consider like the sine wave a square wave okay just like that okay so when i say the type of the inverter uh, so you have to tell that the sine wave uh, like a true or the pure sine wave and when the when this modified sine wave is a modified square wave and uh, when i actually say about the square wave the square wave is something which i modified from the sine wave so this type of technique that we are you dealing with uh, like a type of filtering that we require uh, is the output that we get Mm. so dip, so these inverter are classified into this category and so current source inverter and voltage source inverter use these two technique to filtering the uh, harmonic and to uh, like a these current source inverter or voltage source inverter are used at a hvdc substation converting station uh, so that the harmonic should be reduced and the what are the other disturbance should also be reduced so these are were used but the main uh, major type it is sine wave or the square wave um this is sir inverters can be qualified as a uh, sine wave inverter and a square wave inverter mm hmm okay pure and true very pure and true and it is harmonic content it is non pure non pure sinusoidal and for that we are applying the, that current source inverter and voltage source inverter to rectify the harmonic and to eliminate the harmonic requirement okay okay so your performance is good and uh, you have covered the subject there is no doubt okay, so please maintain this te tempo and uh, so you get a call and uh, sir, the, actually sir i am specifically preparing for a uh, great uh, means the uh, psu exam because sir i matlab I, sir i don't want to appear for the matlab mtech uh, interviews because sir i have achieved all in rank of 49 and i am pretty sure that i will get a call um, so it is good to prepare only for technical subjects and hr question and mm -hmm. um, this uh, does not i am not they will, yeah. for the mtech interviews uh, so it is yeah, yeah they will not cover more technical okay right okay. they will they will not cover technical subjects they will mostly cover uh, the basic one of the technical the mostly ask question from the psu and what the psu is working Uh, what are the jobs? Uh, what is the what is the working? What is the product? What is the revenue? Mostly, PSU will ask me about that. And uh, you are comfortable in this, and your rank satisfy their. If, if your rank satisfy their requirement, then it is it is seen that you get a chance to get into the PSU. Okay, nothing more to concern about. Uh, sir, uh, okay. is this interview was? I uh, mean, uh, enough for good. Ha, acha tha. Yeah. Acha. 